including a huge game in 4A where Cuero with new coach Jared Fikach mm. taking on El Campo with one of the very best players in the state. The Black Unicorn himself, okay. Ruben Owens. But this will be a lot of Cuero as their quarterback, Mason Nataro, is going to find deep man, Jason Varela, for the touchdown. The Gobblers taken early late, then more from the Gobblers. Nataro on the keeper. He does the ref, slips a tackle. You ain't catching him from behind. How about that debut for Jared Fikach? Big win for Cuero. He's going he's to be a popular man in that town as Cuero goes on to dominate El Campo. 43 to 14. Impressive from the Gobblers. Our new friend Shelby Coppedge was on hand in the Jack in the Box spotlight. Tonight, a lot of attention was on El Campo star running back Ruben Owens, but the main attraction ended up being Cuero's dominating defense. Those guys, we got eight returning starters on the team, and, and we got we got a couple middle linebackers that roam around, and uh, they're going to strike you. Um, it was a whole team effort, though, on that side of the football. Defensive line kept our, kept our linebackers clean, and and they were able to roam around. It's just when you hold a talent like that, the guy like that, that's so good to, to, to that much, you know, I, I don't know what else to say other than it was just phenomenal by those guys. While Cuero's defense was overwhelming El Campo's offense, the Gobbler's attack was just as lethal, led by first-time starting Bar City quarterback Mason Nataro. Obviously, that was huge. They, they got a little momentum coming out, going into halftime, scoring late right there. Um, and we knew the first possession was going to be big, and we make a mistake, and, and that's okay. It's going to happen with the young quarterback, but he knows, and he's going to make an adjustment. But then for Tyson to answer that right there, it's huge. And, uh, you know, it just kind of got the momentum back going in our, in our direction. And, you know, the kids didn't stop from there. I mean, limit turnovers and just uh, facilitate the ball and control the offense, you know, high tempo and uh, do what Coach Fikach has taught us since March. Post-game, Coach Fikach told his team, you made a statement here tonight, but this win has to make you hungrier. He told his team, this is just one of 16 games. Lofty goals for the Gobblers.